Hi, South Point friends. I just wanna say thank you in advance for taking the time, your valuable time, to watch this video and stay connected to what's going on here at the life of South Point Church. I've recently returned from my summer sabbatical and I wanted to give everyone an update on our Ignite Impact initiative that we launched in May of 2023. Now, Ignite Impact really had a simple problem and a simple solution. And here's the simple problem that Ignite Impact was going to solve. And I'm gonna put it up on the screen and it's this right here, is that our God-given mission has run into a space issue. I mean, if you visited us in person, I mean, you've seen how crowded it is in the auditorium. I mean, I'm sure you obviously have seen how crowded it is in the parking lot. You've seen that our kids spaces are overwhelmed and you've seen that our lobby is crowded. And we all get this, that doing nothing is really just a no to people around us that God loves and wants us to reach. And we believe our mission is to connect the disconnected to Christ, community, and a cause. And so we had to do something. So we came up with what we thought was a simple plan, and the simple plan looks something like this. We're having all this rapid growth, right? So we would have three phases. The first one was an immediate expansion that we hoped would take place between three months and six months. It really involved having some additional next-gen space behind the building, and some additional parking in the upper lot. And then a little bit later, we would go into phase two completion. When we kind of hit the budget of our building and our original completion, there was a few things that we were unable to do, like outside signage. Then phase three was kind of a long-term solution that at the end of the 36 months, we'd be able to take steps towards creating an addition that we'd be able to put on the building that would help us both uh, take care of additional kid space and additional adult space with parking. That was kind of our solution. Now, in the midst of this, this is where I owe everyone a great big old apology. And here's why. We thought this would be simple and easy. As a matter of fact, we communicated that it would be simple and easy. And as you've observed, it has been anything but simple and easy. It's been hard and it's taken way longer than we thought. I mean, we thought we would have this expansion, our next gen space in the parking lot, by kind of the fall of 2023. And then when that didn't happen, we thought it would happen by January of 2024. And then we thought it happened by, you know, the Easter of 2024. But unfortunately, we ran into some things with our permitting process that were beyond our ability to control. And so over the summer, we had heard some good news that our site plan for our expansion pack had approvals from every agency in the county except one. But towards the end of the summer, we heard from this one agency and it was an enormous change that they had added to our site plan. And so I don't wanna bore you with all the details, but it really had to do with South Point's septic system. We are currently rated for about 600 gallons per day and the county wanted us to go from 600 gallons per day to almost 3,000 gallons per day just to add 2,000 square feet to our building, which is only about 10%, but then they wanted us to five times our septic system. And so the leadership team and the board of trustees had to take an honest look at that and go, hey, is the time, is the cost, is the financial resources and the future timeline worth doing that? And we're already 18 months in to something that we had hoped would be done in about 90 days. And so I'm sure you can guess the short answer. The short answer was no from our board of trustees and our leadership team. And so then the real question becomes is, how do we create space? How do we continue to go in the right direction as we pivot and accomplish the things that we were hoping Ignite Impact would do? And that is a fair and great question. Some of the good news is, is that every dollar has been accounted for. You can go to our website, we have financial transparency there. Our board of trustees reviews that individual account every month. So the good news is all the money that has been given is assigned and ready to be used. And so we've looked to go, how do we pivot? How do we change? So we've taken a couple good steps. The first one is we hired an architectural firm called Visioneering that helps church remodel and put additions on. And part of what they'll help us do is master plan our property, help us to find budgets and timelines that are appropriate and that will work. We've also looked to go, what might our solution be? And our solution might look something like this. It's where we have this rapid growth and we're gonna kind of move all those resources, time and finances into our long-term addition and spend zero to no money on expansion and completion so we can move the timeline up for our addition that would be a long-term solution to our growth problem. Now, we don't have all of that figured out and when we do, we will communicate clearly and quickly with you. I just hope that you can sense and know from South Point that we really want to honor God and we want to honor those who financially give and sacrificially give to see Jesus be made famous in our communities. 
We continue to be excited about all that God is doing here at South Point. And we believe the best is yet to come. So hold on to your forks. And as always, you matter deeply to God. Have a great one.